Hello again, my wonderful colleagues. I'm back with another short video, this time on Christmas fun activities for our little ones. My name is Maranthi Hasapis and I'm an English language school teacher. I have a BA in English language and literature from the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki and I am the author of the book, Not an Ordinary Story. So today I decided to create this really, really, really short video uh, to give some simple ideas on how we can have some fun with our little ones uh, just before our Christmas break. Do you want to build a snowman? That's our first fun activity. Uh, the mascot of our class brings in a photo of a snowman uh, that she has drawn and shows it to the class. And then from that, uh, I introduce the vocabulary for snowman parts like hat, scarf, nose, eyes, buttons, gloves. And then we play a game with, uh, with the snowman parts where I hide them in a container that is full of very, very um, big pieces of salt or uh, fake snowflakes, cotton balls, maybe you can even use rice. And students go on a scavenger hunt in, in that container, of course, after sanitizing their hands, and they find a snowman part, they put it on their snowman, and then they repeat what part it is. Uh, they love doing projects like this because they get to do things together with their classmates and create something uh, original every time. Um, another thing we can do is with the flashcards that we use to present the vocabulary, we can play a variety of games that we've already, I've already talked about in previous videos. Uh, here in this picture, you can see a memory game. Uh, with these flashcards, basically, they introduce vocabulary that we will see later on. Uh, in a song that I will introduce and we will sing together and dance together to uh, in maybe the following lesson. In the second picture we can see a game uh, we play with uh, the different snowman parts like hat and scarf and gloves and the numbers one two three since we've already we've only learned the numbers one two three up till now uh, where I ask them how many scarves or how many hats and as you can see in the picture the student has found the number two and put it on the card. And after that, uh, students can create their own snowman. Uh, I give them a, a worksheet uh, or a color page with just three circles on it and they create their own uh, snowman any way they have imagined him with their own type of hat and scarves and gloves and buttons, eyes and nose. Uh, you can use cotton as well. You can give them pieces of cotton. They can stick it on the picture as well. Some of our colleagues actually do this activity with um, cotton pads and they, they, they take the cotton pads, stick it on a, a cardboard piece of paper and then have different parts that students can stick on the cotton pads. If you really love crafts and your students are familiar with using glue, then you can do that as well. Now for our second activity, it's let's decorate the Christmas tree. Now. In this picture, I've actually done this activity with my ESLB class, but you can also do it with your kindergarten students uh, when you, if you limit the number, uh, the numbers that you use. For example, uh, I'm going to do this activity with my kindergarten students this week with the numbers one, two, and three. Uh, what I've done is I put uh, tongue depressor sticks with the numbers uh, one, two, and three for my kindergarten class for this class from from the numbers one to ten. Uh, they are hidden in the reindeer that you can see in the second picture. And the students choose a random number from the stick. And uh, after we have created a, a Christmas tree using green paper cups that you can see in the first picture, um, the students get to decorate the Christmas tree with the number of pom-poms that they choose from the stick that they, find, that they have. Uh, you can also play another game with cardboard Christmas trees that have uh, painted uh, Christmas balls on them, and the students have to match the number uh, that is on the clothespin to the tree with the number, the correct number of Christmas balls. Another fun activity is let's catch and count snowflakes and snowballs. Now, as you can see in this first picture, um, I have different cards with uh, snowflakes. I have one here, for example. This has one snowflake, and then I give them clothes pins that have numbers on them like the number one number two number three and the students get to i would say the number one for example and the students would choose the correct clothes pin and then put it on the correct number that goes with the number of the snowflake 
You can play a variety of different games with snowflakes. You can create your own snowflakes and hide them all around the classroom. You can put numbers on them and get students to find the number one snowflake, or you can actually do colors too. Maybe the snowflakes can be different colors and you can practice colors with your snowflakes. Uh, another game I like to play is with snowballs, which basically are just cotton balls, like these regular cotton balls. You can play them with different cups and you can uh, get the students to put the um, a specific number of cotton balls in a specific cup. Maybe you can number the cups as well. Uh, another game that I saw on uh, on Pinterest actually is like I've created like a Santa and I'm gonna put cotton balls all around the classroom and the students will go find them and then we'll stick Santa's beard, cotton balls on his Santa's beard because he lost his beard. So I think the students will have a lot of fun with that too this year. And for every one of these fun lessons, I've, uh, I use a, a different song. For the first fun lesson, I use I'm a Little Snowman. Uh, we learn uh, the song according to the vocabulary that we've already learned with the flashcards and the games that we played. Uh, for the second fun lesson, uh, it's the Dancing Christmas Tree, which has a lot of action and students have fun with that. And for the third fun lesson, uh, I usually use a Little Snowflake from Super Simple Songs. Uh, as you can see here, the first song is by Super Simple Songs. The second one is from Kids TV 123 and the third one again from Super Simple Songs. Uh, I always like to match my lessons with a song so that they have something that they can do um, at the end, like a, a reward or a fun activity. And I also like to do the songs uh, for the following lessons as well. So I hope you enjoyed this very short lesson. Um, I know this year has been a little bit overwhelming. We're all quite tired. So I thought that these simple ideas would just help you uh, have some fun with your little ones this uh, for the next couple of weeks till we're on break. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, I hope we get uh, a chance to be with people we love this year, this holiday season, doing things we love. Um, I just wish you great joy and happiness till the next time we talk. Bye, everyone.